because we have to get the 5.55 a.m. train to Ely uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in a row. I have 9 a.m. lectures every day. So Thursday mornings, having got up at five twice before to then train to then go to a lecture is like mentally just quite draining. Winter at Ely, come off the water, 5.30 in the evening, you're shattered. It's pitch black. It's been raining, cold. Boat hasn't been going very well. Long journey back, you're stuck in traffic and you know you've got a load of work waiting at the other end of that journey. Social life with sort of friends from college and non-rowers definitely suffers. You can't always be going out. You can't sort of be just relaxing in the afternoons and just chilling together. You know, he's just not around very much. It sometimes gets to, you know, like, oh, I'm just, you know, not doing anything. I'm like letting my friends down or whatever. But, you know, it's sort of, it's necessity. If you're gonna do this, I guess. Sometimes you feel like it's you and your own trying to take on everything. Um, so it's good just to have a sounding board to be able to speak to. And, and for me, my family are amazing at that. It sounds really cliche when people say, oh, I couldn't do it without my family and my, my girlfriend, but, but genuinely I couldn't. You know, they're everything to me. They're my support. And, and um, if ever I need anything, I know that they're always there. My girlfriend's been so incredibly supportive of all of my rowing and has helped me you know, when I've been feeling bad about how training's going or how I'm rowing or, you know, has made me like nice food if I'm just feeling a bit down. Um, she's amazing and I'm really lucky to have her. One of my main sort of escapes lately is uh, my friends have adopted a puppy, so I enjoy borrowing him and taking him for walks. Um, and he knows nothing about rowing or my PhD, um, just that I occasionally provide treats. And it's preparing my wedding, <laughs> so we need to think about invitations and kind of the menu and like uh, my wedding dress, so I'm escaping like this at the moment. <laughs> I think just spending time with non-rowers, definitely, and having, having conversations that don't involve rowing in any way and yeah, it's great to have that sort of external world. Yeah, it's, there, there are hard bits, no, no question about it, but I guess it takes a certain amount of crazy to be doing it, and that is something that connects all of us. It's tough. I mean, it's tough for sure. You crave the day off, but you realize why you're doing it, and I think it's important to keep that in perspective. You know, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to row, uh, to be able to be part of the boat race. And I've sort of never forgotten that. It's, it's a good life to live. Just wish I had more time. <laughs>